Hey everybody, today we're going to be uh, adding another mod to the Silverado. Big thing we're going to be doing is adding some light to this situation. What I mean by that is, I've got the bed cover as you can see standing up in the back there. Um, and when I'm loading stuff in the back, especially at night, it's really hard to see anything that you're trying to do in the bed. So I decided I wanted to do an in-bed lighting kit and I, I looked around a little bit and I came across this. This right here is actually GM's official um, in-bed lighting kit for these trucks. Found this one on Amazon for like 116 bucks. I'm sure I could have found other options cheaper, but I like to be able to go with the OEM uh, OEM parts. That way, I don't have to add any switches, do any drilling, add any extra wires that I don't really have to add. So first things first, let's go out. Let's go through what's in here. Pretty much everything that's here is two of these, two lights. A box of basically little bolts and little clips and the wiring harness. And really? That's it. Um, so I looked it through the instructions. First thing we're going to do is uh, disconnect the negative battery terminal. Um, and next thing we have to do is drop the spare tire. So let's go ahead and get to it. All right, uh, next step is to remove the tail light assemblies. These tail light assemblies use a, give me a second here, here we go. Tail light assemblies use a T15 to hold them in place. All right, so what we're doing is this is right here is the uh, hitch of the truck right here. This is the uh, driver's side and right there is what we should be plugging into. So let me go ahead and get the uh, wiring harness. We're going to plug it in and we'll go from there. All right, so I moved everything a little bit. Or Okay, so I moved everything a little bit. What we had to do was we had to take this piece out of there and now this one should plug in right back in its place. Now we're going to look at these two harnesses. It splits off into a Y. We're going to separate them. We're going to figure out which one is the driver's side, which is this one right here. And first things first, we're going to take this part and we're going to find out where it clips up and out of the way. Just like that. And again, we're just going to double check. We have the correct first one here. This is the driver's side. So we're going to take it up and over the frame rail. Now it's up and up over the frame rail. Should be able to run it straight up to the tail light housing. All right, so we're back up top here on the driver's side. What it is, you bring it up through here. Um, click in one of these, what's called a rosebud there. Next one goes up goes right up here just like so then take the rest of your harness it's going to end up going up and through here into the bed where it connects up okay so it took a little trial and error and just trying this trying that and finally what i found out is once you get through this hole over here you have to have one rosebud left that clicks in right there so you give you right just enough wire to go Come around and click in. And right here, there's two square holes. There are a couple little pieces that are going to go in there, and that's where it's going to hook up the actual light itself. So let's go ahead and grab those two little, um, try, uh, I guess, uh, kind of like little screw holders in place right here and right here. Hook those in place, and we'll go from there. Okay, that should help. Okay, so the official name for one of these little things is actually called a push nut. Pretty much all it does 
is exactly what it's called. You just push it right up in there. There's two of them. And so as they're in place, you can grab the light and the two screws. All right, so uh, next thing we do is we take our actual light. Make sure with this side, you have the light facing down into the bed. And with these, I've got a 930 seconds uh, socket. I'm sure that's probably not the correct size for this, but it's the size that I found that will actually somewhat work. Next thing, we're going to be basically running, doing the exact same thing on this side. Go run this up. Basically, there's a little uh, plate up there. You're going to run up and over that. Then you're going to run right up the hole. Uh, it leads to the tail light. Now, what I'm going to do is I'll go ahead and I'm going to run this up. Um, we're going to run this up, and then once we have everything's up and kind of in place, then we'll put the rosebuds in. Nice. Um, Connected up all the rosebuds, so now before we do anything, I've already reconnected the negative battery terminal. So now I'm gonna go put the keys in the truck, and we're gonna go see if we can't make these lights turn on. Hey, look at that. There we go. It's a pre really pretty easy install. Um, I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and put everything else back. Um, all that includes is tail lights and putting the spare tire back up. Once that's all done, uh, we'll reconvene. I'll shut the, the uh, bed cover. I'll show you kind of what it looked like with the lights off and with the lights on. You can see it's, it, it's pretty dark in there. I mean, we're in a lit garage and everything, which helps. So at night, it's even worse. But yeah, here's kind of what it looks like right now. I'm gonna go turn on the lights and we'll see how much of a difference that makes. Lights on. I gotta say that helps a little bit. I mean, it's not the greatest. I'll take a look and see how it looks at night. Um, I was kind of hoping for more than two lights for the bed, but I mean, no matter what, that's gonna help a lot. I mean, it's gonna add lighting, especially at night, low light situations, and for how much I paid, it's really not a bad deal. All right, so out of ten, I'd give this kit about. A seven. Very, very easy to in install. Um, instructions could have been a little better, but that's kind of one of the reasons why I wanted to make this video is maybe other people trying to figure out how to do this can watch this. Uh, easiest way to figure out to run the, the little rosebud clips is run them from the light back. Because um, you always have one that connects to the light, and then the next one connects to the top of the tail light, the next one's down, and then you go from there. It makes it a lot easier if you work kind of backwards with those. Um, really, uh, wiring the wiring was really easy, and hooking up the lights were, was super simple. I mean, it was a little annoying trying to get up in there, just couldn't really fit a screwdriver up there. Um, but I'm sure if I would have grabbed a, a ratchet, I could have easily done it with that. But um, that too, one well, with that too, I mean, I wish there were more lights, though, that would have included a little more install time. And I'm sure if I wanted to, I could add more lights in the future somehow. Just have to do a little finagling research here and there. But no matter what, I mean, it's going to help with the lighting in the bed, and it's going to kind of help bring the truck to how I want it to be here in the future. Um, and that's actually what I'm probably going to talk about next video is kind of what the plans are completely with this truck, what we've done, what we've done so far, what we still want to do, what I still want to do uh, when we go from there with the truck. Um, be looking out for that. Um, also be doing hopefully a video here still upcoming. We still haven't done it yet but is the dash dash replacement or the dash piece replacement for the Subaru. Um, and also uh, Indianapolis Cars and Coffee is getting ready to start up here pretty soon. So 
uh, here that's here in a few weeks. I plan on taking the truck. Um, we'll have that the first weekend of April. I know I'm going to be going. Um, and then um, other shows I know of. I know Cars and Coffee is basically every weekend from then on out. I'm not going to make it the next weekend at the Speedway. Um, and then there's a benefit car show the next Saturday I'm going to be going to. I'll give more information on that as uh, time gets closer. Uh, but really, yeah, that really kind of wraps up today's video. Again, uh, pretty simple install. Didn't take too long, maybe took me 45 minutes, and that's including with filming and everything else. Um, but yeah, pretty simple install. I really feel like anybody could do it, just got to take a little time. Big things I would suggest having uh, safety glasses just because of dirt and debris. A um, pair of pliers in case you accidentally have to move a rosebud. Uh, the Torx heads and uh, need a little, just kind of a little socket for the lights themselves. Other than that, really simple. Just gotta take your time, make sure you pay attention to what you're doing. If you have any questions, uh, leave a comment. If you have any comments, leave a comment. If you like the video, please give it a like. If you dislike the video, give it a dislike and please let me know why. I hope you guys have a great day.